Today, I'm going to be showing you how to catch a bedfish. Before uh, pre-spawn and the spawn. What's up guys welcome back to Bassman TV some of the bass are on the spawn which means they're on beds and they're locked in a certain area but today I'm going to show you my top five baits that I normally use to catch bedfish so guys we got two fish two bedfish right there on beds one is a good size at least like three pounder and then the other one's probably two pounds and we're gonna try to get them normally if these fish weren't locked on a bed my first bait that i would throw uh coming in at number five is the square bill you can fish this thing anywhere around logs grass um you can bump it into the bottom um you can you can uh reel it in really fast let it sit so it floats up does a little shimmy and then you can reel again that's how i normally catch them um there's multiple ways where you can fish a square bill crankbait that's what i would normally throw if they were on pre-spawn and just cruising around when i'm coming in at number four what i would also throw is a jerk bait for the suspending and pre-spawn bass if they're not locked on beds like i said um throw that around the same cover as a square belt i would throw the jerk bait around rocks hard cover around toolies right around the edges especially if it's a shallow diving crankbait i throw that right up against the bank um sometimes you can get them that way i'm gonna go to the bait that i would normally throw if if since these bedfish are right here well it's my number one bait that i would normally throw is a jig so hopefully we can catch this bedfish on a jig, so stay tuned. Okay guys, before I get into today's video, sponsor for this video is Odds Pro. Make sure to go check them out. I will talk more about it later on in the video. So guys, like I said, my most popular or my most used bait that I normally throw for, uh, especially just a bedding bass is a jig, especially this color. This is kind of like a whitish with a um, kind of a brownish red color right there. That thing, especially with the, um, and then I pair that up with the um, curly tailed uh, Yamato grub. And that is just such a killer bait. And even if um, that doesn't even work, I would throw a jig that has rattles on it. Cause I know every single time I've thrown a jig on a really picky bedfish that's really like skittish and everything. Jigs with rattles piss them off so much. It's like unbelievable how much it works. Here's the same exact jig that I'm using right here. I just changed up the trailer because the other one was beat up a little bit. Um, other people have other things to throw, but this is what I would throw. So, um, it seems like the male is on the bed right now we'll see how this goes so stay tuned if you even let your bait just sit down on the bed and wait for the bed fish to come back and it's just in there you just give it a couple seconds for it to settle down get comfortable and then doesn't realize anything's going on what you want to do is you just want to let it sit there for a while and when the male comes back on try to hit him in the back of the tail don't snag him because that's illegal but hit him in the back of the tail with your lure and that will piss him off and he will turn around to it and try to like nip at it or anything to because it's out of aggression it's like pretty much like a reaction strike another thing i would throw if 
they were not biting the jig like right now I was gonna change up the trailer but I'm gonna throw something else and that another thing I would throw is a glide bait that would be probably uh, number number three on my list for throwing this number two would be um, a swim bait like a Kitek swim bait those things are killer on beds also just along with jigs but um, since I don't have a swim bait tied on and I don't want to tie anything on I'm gonna throw this thing because I caught a five pounder on this after that a couple days later I also caught a four pounder on this thing too and it was also on a bed and it was a female I'm gonna roll the clip of the five pounder of what I caught on this thing so um, let's roll that clip right now she keeps going after this thing come on big Bertha Got her, got her, got her, got her. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Chill, 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 chill. Barely hit. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Barely hooked. Barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked. Don't, don't. No, no. No, no, no. Chill, chill, chill. No, chill. Oh yeah, look at that chunk. Oh my gosh. Yep. Look at that thing. Oh my god. Freaking nice. Look at the belly on that. That's definitely a freaking female. Thank you. There's the fish, guys. Right there. Look at that chunk. Oh my gosh. Look at the mouth on that thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. You too. Look at that toad, guys. Oh my gosh. The five pounder that I caught on this, that's why the eye's missing right here, um, shows you how good this bait works. I'm gonna go back to this bed fish and we're gonna pitch this thing in there and let's see what happens. Oh. oh, I snagged them. Damn it. Don't snag them because that's illegal. Damn it. I didn't mean to snag them. I didn't mean to snag you, buddy. Sorry. But you kind of swiped at it and fell for it, so... Look at, there's the female right there. Or one of the males, I don't know. what. Oh, that's a little male. <laughs> Look at that dude. See, I actually sent the hook in him. Because he swiped at it. There we go. And that's what he bit right there. Like I said, swim, a jig or a glide bait. That works freaking hella good. Show him back. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Guess he wanted to go back on his own. Hey guys, so I just caught the male. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw that on camera. Hopefully you guys did. But what I, like I said, guys, you either throw a swim bait, glide bait, or a jig in there, and that's how you get them. And what do you know? I caught them on this glide bait right there, the Weston glide bait that I caught that five pounder on. And we're gonna go to a few more spots that we're gonna hit up bedfish.
catfish. Nice catch. Nice one. And okay, we're gonna release him back on his bed. Oh. Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at that chunk. That's a nice bass. Look at that, guys. Hell yeah. Bed fishing at its finest. Right in the top of the lip. Hell of a good hook set. Thanks to a subscriber to the channel for filming. We're going to go over where John's at. He's going to go... He's uh, cart fishing over there, and we're gonna see what he can catch. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Look at that. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, dude, we got a good one, bro. Dude, look at this. <laughs> When's he gonna stop? Oh, shit. oh, dude, this is a big one, bro. Dude, this is a giant. A good tip guys like when you're reeling in a fish like i have my drag pretty low like there's probably like four pounds of pressure and i do that because if i ever want to put more pressure on it i can just stop the spool like that you know just putting a little bit of pressure on him and then when he starts to run i can let go and i don't have to worry about him breaking line so i typically just keep my drag like this and if i really need to like put some pressure on him like that i can just put my finger on it and drag him in so that's a good tip for you fingers pulling him like this and then as soon as he started to run i just let off I straighten the pull out a little bit and I let him go just like that. And then, oh, see, just like that, guys. Helps you to not lose fish. I'd rather have my drag loose and need to tighten it up than too tight and need to loosen it because, yeah, you break the fish off before that happens. She's not messing around. My arm hurts. <laughs> Literally. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What the hell? It's like sandpaper. What the yeah. hell? Yeah. Alright. Weird. He's probably been spawning, that's why. And been on the bottom. Hook came right out. There he goes. That's the first time I've ever seen a snake at Little Lake. Watch out for that rusted metal. Yeah. I can't get some right there though. It's the wrong angle. Like, I need to go down this way on him. I mean, I could with my left hand. 
You can get him right there. Oh, <laughs> that's a big one. Oh, he's wrapping around you. Dang. Nice. His name's Gophy. Gophy the gopher snake. Gophy the gopher snake. Yep. Yeah, let's let him go. Sorry that I had to catch you by your head so aggressively, but now he's a lot more chill. Yeah, they'll just they'll relax. You can have him as pets. I used to have one as a pet. Sometimes don't. Sometimes people mistake them for like pythons and uh, rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes, yeah. They actually will shake their tail like a rattlesnake. They mimic a rattlesnake. Yeah. But, right. Sorry, no. There he goes. That's not even that big of a one. They get way bigger than that. They get like that fat around. Yeah. I've seen really big ones. I've caught a king snake before. I just wanted to take a quick minute to talk about today's sponsor for this video, which is Odds Pro. So we got this net. This is not the only product that they have, but they have multiple products. Yeah, they're a small Amazon company or whatever. Um, but this is pretty much a kid's net right here. In catch fish, small fish, but not medium size or big fish. But this is perfect for your, if you guys get this net for your kid while you're fishing. And also for pan fishing, like if you're gonna go bluegill fishing and all that. Cool thing about it is that it's really compact. Like see, here's just the net part. And here's the pole part. It fits in this type of backpack right here, just fine with all the rest of my stuff. Um, so you can also screw this on like that. You can also unscrew this part and it extends even more. I wish it would extend a lot more. And I also wish the net was a lot bigger. Let's see how the, good of a job this net does. This net is not for this, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. Yeah, for it, we're, we're gonna put it to the test. Yeah. We tried this before and the fish almost flopped out, so. Got him. There we go. I literally found that in the river, dude. It's See? It's got a little spinner on it. Because it, it does a oh, decent job. It's mostly good for small fish, but it does the job. Like okay, guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, remember, if you guys are, if any of you guys are parents and wanting to look for a net for your children, or if you want to go bluegill fishing, that's the perfect net for my sponsors. So make sure to go check them out on Amazon. The link will be down in the description. But besides that, guys, if you're new, make sure to subscribe and also like this video if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Keep slapping that bass. Peace.